how to use effects in DJ Pro. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and I'm going to show you how. So in this video, I'm going to show you where you could find the effects, which screens, how to use them, what each knob does, and some hidden features within the menu. And you guys are going to be experts at using effects. When it comes to effects, less is more, so don't overdo it with, with the effects and take what you learned from here and then do it subtly into your DJ sets. So on the first screen, when you open the app, you're gonna be in classic mode, and this gives you access to the effects. If you press the mixer button, this is your mixer. The only effect that is on the regular mixer is, is the filter. This used to be considered effect. Now it's pretty much considered part of the mixer. So if you guys are looking for the filter, that's where it would be. And it just, high pass takes away all the lows, low pass takes away all the highs, and it adds a kind of sweeping effect. Now, if we go over here, this is our effects section. Now, you have the ability to use three effects at the same time, which is really cool. So on this screen, to turn on the effect, you just press on, and to turn off the effect, effect you press off. There's no way to just have the button held when, you're, when your finger's on it and then have it let go like it would be on a paddle sh shifter with these paddle shifters that are on the new controllers. If you just hold it down and then let go, your effect's off. And then if you wanted to put it on just like it is on the screen, you would just go like that and now the effect would stay on. So just keep that in mind and get used to pressing the button. It's a little bit hard to... A little bit hard to get to it's a really small button especially if you're djing on your phone or a smaller controller and then here is this is the this controls the different different frequencies of the effect that you're using so let's see so we have flanger on so if we play the song So get used to what it sounds like and use this kind of like like an instrument so you could change the, the beats. So if we're using, I'll show you with the scratcher effect. So when you're scratching, you want different effects, high and low pitch sounds. So by using this knob, by using this with the effect on, you'll be able to hear, it'll sound like you're actually scratching. And if you just if you just use the effect without doing that, it just it has no beat to it. And another thing you could do with this effect is you could mess with the high pass and low pass filter, although it's really hard to do if you're just using the iPad because you're gonna have to be hopping from screen to screen. But if you're doing it on a controller like this, you could just set the set the effect on and then move the high pass and low pass filter to get the same effect. So I went over how to use the manual effects and this knob over here that says that has W and D, that it means wet and dry. That basically it turns the effect on and off. So if you have it all the way off, you play the song. See, you don't hear any effect. And then you could raise it up. This is good if you want to gradually bring in the effect or gradually take it out. But just keep in mind that these type of knobs are really hard to use when you're just using the iPad because they're really small and you just have to like touch it and then the whole screen you could use it. So grab it and then now it doesn't matter where on the screen you are, you'll be using that knob. Now next, these are the manual effects. So you have to turn them on and off but then they have some instant effects. So some of these are really cool. They have absorb, sway, punch, drift, chop. Test these out and see which ones you like. I personally like the absorb one to do transitions. I'll show you. And then there's punch. Boom. 
So if you guys like using them, they're really easy to use and also really fun. I'm hoping that they add some new ones in the future. I think you can you can do Nero Mix ones. I haven't applied that. Let's see. That's kind of cool. So I didn't even know that you could do Nero Mix transitions. So they did add new ones. So let's see some of these. So they have an echo out, they, ha they have a looper, so you guys can definitely go over here to instant and then switch them to the Nero Mix ones and get used to using those ones because they're really cool. And then now there's the pad, so what this does is it has an X, Y axis of high pass, low pass, and then volume, so look. So up and down, high pass, low pass. And it's really cool. You could like use your finger and then make like your own beat with these, with the effects pad. Uh, on the, the control that I used to use, the IDJ Pro, which is the one where you slid the iPad in the middle. It was really cool because then the iPad would be there and then you could use these touchscreens to do the effects. Now let's move it along to two deck mode. In two deck mode, the mixer at the bottom is essentially the same as the mixer in classic mode, except it's smaller and then you'll have access to these smaller jog wheel, these bigger jog wheels and the mixer than you would if you were using it in this screen, because if you wanted the big jog wheels or the records, you'd have to use these, but then you have nowhere to use your effects. And I like using the echo to end my scratches. So in this screen, it's actually impossible to scratch and put the effect on at the same time. So if I want to do that, I would have to use this screen and then you can scratch here and then have the effects right there or you could even use the big waveform to do it. So if you plan the DJ with just the iPad, get used to knowing which screen is better for what you're trying to do and which screen you can do, do what you want and which screen that it's impossible because this will make your DJing more smoother and you won't be looking around for the button or be like, oh, how do I do that? Because you know, I want to scratch and do an effect. It's going to be this screen. Let's go over to the looper. Now in the looper, you don't have any access to your effects. So if you're playing a song, maybe you're playing up vocals and then you're having loop and you're making like your own beat or your own song, you can't put on, a, the only way to put an echo on the vocal track is if you go back to two deck mode, put it on and then go back to your looper. So if you plan on doing this, I would stay in two deck mode and then put your, have your looper going here and then you could right here, there's one button in the bottom, boom. I mean, this button over here. So you go from there to there, boom, boom. It's a lot quicker than going from screen to screen. So keep that in mind. And this screen, it has the volume faders of each individual looper track, but also they added that into two deck mode just now. So if you, if you put it in, you can have the volume, but you only get one of the tracks. So you could pick out the track that you wanna have playing and then go to two deck mode and have the volume control there. So auto mix. Now in this screen in auto mix, you, you can't do much, but you could access auto mix with the new update in any screen. So you could be over here, turn on auto mix, and now on, when auto mix is playing, you have access to the whole screen while it's doing an auto mix. So if you're doing a party and you plan to have auto mix playing and DJ a little bit, put auto mix on and walk away and have it, have it keep playing, you could, while it's still on auto mix, hop on, do some effects, do some scratches, and your auto mix will still be going uninterrupt, uninterrupted. So even if you're still learning how to DJ and you got a gig and you plan on doing the gig with Automix, you could throw in some of your some effects and have some fun with it. 
and samples too. Now, one deck mode, you have no access to it. Four deck mode, you do, but it's really, really hard to see. So you go to mixer, and now you have these tiny waveforms, and you can have, you can see your mixer, and if you click here, you got equalizer, and yeah, this screen, four deck mode, you have no access to your effects unless you press from the mixer, I guess this is the Q and the effects over here, and then you have to go to effects. So you could have effects on four deck mode, but it's really hard to see and it's gonna get really tricky. So keep that in mind, especially if you're using a phone or a smaller iPad. Now this, now this is video mix. Video, the cool thing about video mix is you have access to audio and video effects as well as just regular video effects. So the audio vid video effects will do the effect in the video and in the song. So we have, if we put in the Echo EV, it does the echo and then it makes kind of like an echoey thing on the screen. I think these effects are really cool and definitely get involved in the video mixing. All you need is one of these with HDMI connection. And then there's effects that are also just video, like the kaleidoscope. So these are really cool and definitely check them out and definitely watch my other videos about doing the video mix. Stop all the mix. Now we go over here to settings and we're gonna go to mixer, I think, and EQ stop, crossfader curve, FX routing. So you, what this means is pre-fader and post-fader. So it's set to post-fader, which means even if you turn the volume off on the deck that you have the effect on, it'll still be playing the effect. So you could do the echo out and you could still have echo going. If you put it on pre-fader, when you turn off, when you do the effect and you turn the volume off for that deck, then it just ends. So I don't recommend doing that unless that's your style of DJing. So to access that mixer, and then you go to XFX routing, and then you go to post effects. So thanks for watching, and if you guys like learning about how to DJ on the iPad and what's new with DJing, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like.